Shalom, shalom to all my brothers and sisters that's far and near, that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, that's keeping their commandments and doing what the Most High require of them in these last days. Um, I say shalom to you and yours, and all praises go to Yahweh and Yahweh and Yahweh. And um, this is going to be a great lesson, actually. And um, this is going to be a hard pill to swallow. But um, the truth shall be revealed. All right. So I'm about to bring out to you today on um, the last um, Passover supper that the Most High had. He did not eat no lamb. He did not eat no lamb. And um, actually, um, he was against it. All right. So I'm about to bring out the proof right now because inside of a measuring cup, there are levels to understanding things. You know, he did not go against the prophets, but um, one thing is for sure that he came to set a different, um, he set the record straight. Okay. So I'm about to read this to you. All right. Let's get into it. Um, the last um, Paschal Supper, which means Passover, number one, at the even, and I'm reading through the Gospel of the Holy Twelve, okay. Um, and at the evening, the Master coming into the house, and there are gathered with him twelve, and their fellows, Peter and Jacob, and Thomas and John and Simeon and Matthew and Andrew and Nathaniel and James and Thaddeus and Jude and Philip and their companions. And there was also Judas, who by men was numbered with the 12 till the time when he should be manifested, right? All right, two. And there were all clad in garments of white and linen, pure and clear, for linen is the righteousness of the saints. And each, um, and each had the color of his tribe. Right. But the master was clad in his in his pure and um, in his pure white robe all over without seam or spot. And that means he was flesh. He was fresh. man. And there arose contention among them as to which of them should be esteemed the greatest. Wherefore, he said unto them, he is. He that is greatest among you, let him be as, let him be as, um, as he had do it serve, that do it serve. And Jesus, and Yahweh, and Yahweh said, with desire have I desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, right? And to institute the memorial of my oblations for the service and salvation for all. For behold, the hour coming when the Son of Man shall be shall be portrayed into the hands of sinners, right? And one of the um take heed to what is being said, because it's very, very important. And one of the twelve said unto him, Lord, is it I? And he said, He to whom I give the soap, the sop, the same is he, right? And is a um at is correct, which is Judas said unto him, Master, behold, the unleavened bread, the mingled wine, and the oil, and the herbs, but where is the lamb that Moses commanded, right? <laughs> for Judas said, for I mean, for Judas had brought the lamb, but Jesus had forbidden that it should be eat, killed, right? Wow. See, this is what, you know, a lot of people get mixed up on. And J and John sp spake in the spirit saying, behold, the lamb, uh, the lamb of God, the good shepherd, which give it his life for the sheep. And Judas was troubled at these words, for he knew that he should betray him. But again, Judas said, master, is it not written in the law that a lamb must be slain for the Passover within the within the gates? And Yahweh will be Yahweh answered, if if I am lifted up on the cross, then indeed shall the lamb be slain. But woe unto him by whom it is delivered into the hands of the slayers. It 
if it it, it it were better of him that he um that he not be born verily i say unto you for this end have i come into the world that i that i may put away all blood offering and the eating of the flesh that means hamburgers everything of the beast and of the birds that are slain by men and that goes for the chicken in the beginning God gave to all the fruits of the trees and the seeds and the herbs for food. But those who love themselves more than God or their fellows corrupted their ways and brought diseases into their bodies and filled the earth with lust and violence. That means killing all the, the, the creatures, the animals, not by shedding innocent blood. Therefore, by living a righteous life shall ye find the peace of God. Ye call me. Hold on one second. All right. Ye call me the Christ of God, and ye saw well, for I, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. Walk ye in the way, and ye shall find God. Seek ye the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Live in the life, and ye shall see no debt. All things are alive in God, and the spirit of of God fill it all things, which means the animals as well. Keep ye the commandments, love the keep ye commandments, love thy God with all thy heart, and love thy neighbors as thyself. On these um on these hang all the law and the prophets. And the sum of the law is um is this do not ye uh, do not ye unto others as ye would not that others shall do unto you. Um, do ye unto others as ye would that others should do unto you. Blessed are they who keep this law. For um, God is manifested in all creatures. All creatures live in God. And God is hid in them. After these things, Jesus dipped the sop and gave it to Judas. Saying, what thou doest, do it quickly. He then having received the sop went out immediately and it was light. And when Judas um, had gone out, Jesus said, now is the son of man glorified among the 12 and God is glorified in him. And verily I say unto you, they who receive you receive me and they who receive me receive the father who is sent and who have been faithful unto the truth shall sit upon the 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Woo! That tell you right there, he wasn't eating no type of lamb during a Passover. No lamb at all. He wasn't eating none. All right? So I just wanted to bring that out. You know, that's very important. You know, right now, I, ha I had to bring it out. And, and I actually could bring on another scripture in the Bible where it say it don't stop because the most high speaking of volumes of his father. So it says right here, um, and Elohim said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, every tree and which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you. It shall be for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the heavens and to every creeping things upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given you every green herb for food and it was so and his word do not change all praises, all praises, all praises to the most high. You know, so let that sink in to you brothers who want to eat um, flesh with blood in it and stuff like that, man. Y'all got to cut that out, you know, and um, shout a to all my brothers. Don't make excuses for yourself to say, well, some things are good. This is before the Levitical law. All right. With that being said, our praises to the shallow, uh, praises to my brothers. That's in the truth scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And